footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt. This is all the playbook. Breaking down the Jaguars versus the Falcons. And let's start with Jacksonville to see what they can do to win a huge game in the Georgia Dome. I look at the Jacksonville Jaguars offense and I see an offense that's starting to get its stride. They need that guy right there, Mar Mercedes Lewis, to step up and be a Pro Bowl player that he was last season. And that's going to overall help out Blaine Gabbert because what they're doing right now, they're spreading the football around, albeit short passes, but they have to start to attack the field vertically down the field, especially against the Falcons front. They will just play off man coverage and sit and wait on the short passes and try to jump those routes and get interceptions. But Blaine Gabbert has to do a better job of protecting the football. He has to do a better job of stepping up in the face of pressure. And the way they can do that, the way they can help him out is by turning around and handing that football off to Maurice Jones Drew. And that's going to alleviate some of the pressure that's going to allow him to step up in the pocket and fire down the field and find those targets and get everyone else involved. Defensively speaking, the Jaguars have to come into this matchup and do two things. One, they have to beat up Tony Gonzalez at the line of scrimmage. Do not allow this young man to get a free release. Otherwise, he's going to make your defense pay. And two, stay active at the line of scrimmage. Bodies around the line of scrimmage does a great job in slowing down Michael Turner. And that way, those, outs those outstanding linebackers that the Jaguars have can be around the football and make those plays in the backfield. Let's take a look at the Falcons' keys to victory see what they can do to knock off the Jacksonville Jaguars. I look at the Atlanta Falcons offense and what they can do against Jacksonville. First, they have to decide which offense they want to be. Do they want to be the running offense that got them to the playoffs last season? Or do they want to be the passing offense that they have right now? Would they want to utilize all those weapons? But what they have to do is find a happy medium. What they can do this week against Jacksonville will probably be stay in those spread formations. Because Jacksonville right now has some leakage in the secondary. So if the Falcons can stay in those two by one sets or three wide receiver sets with Tony Gonzalez flank, they can have a lot of success throwing the football against Jacksonville. So I would even keep that throughout the whole game. And that's going to open up running room for Michael Turner. That's going to open up ways for these guys to get take advantage of those individual matchups in the secondary. Now defensively, you look at what they can do well against Jacksonville. They have to continue to apply the pressure. The Falcons have one of the more aggressive and speedy defensive fronts to get back there and cause havoc. They may not always result in sacks, but pressures against Blaine Gabbert will do just fine because he will get rid of that football quickly and big plays for the defense can be made if they're able to stay in the face of Blaine Gabbert. Now let's take a look at some X factors in this ball game and see which player or players have an advantage on the outcome in this ball game. X Factor for the Jaguars has to be their third down offense. They have to do a better job of keeping ahead of the chains, and that's going to keep that Falcons offense on the side. Falcons X Factor has to be run defense. You shut down Maurice Jones-Drew, you effectively take away a third of what the Jags want to do on offense. I'm going with the Falcons in this game. I think what Atlanta is going to come in and do is stay in spread formations, and that's just going to weaken the Jaguars pressure because it's going to force those nickel and dime corners and the strong safety to be able to cover those excellent targets they have out there for Matt Ryan. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. Follow me on Twitter at fballgameplan and listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.